the factory rat coming to you from the model factory we want to start a new build we're going to do the Revell 170 second space shuttle and also we got a couple uh, new things at the uh, model factory uh, one thing is well, we got a couple new uh, chairs so that uh, I won't have to apologize for um, for squeaking my my chair squeaking. So I got a couple new chairs around here, and uh, also we got this uh, thing. This here is pretty cool. We went to Hobby Lobby a while back, and uh, they had this for twenty bucks. There, you guys might be interested in this. It, uh, it's a wireless charger for your phone, and also you can open this up. Hold on one second. Put your phone inside here. And you close the lid. You hit this button. And it'll uh, sanitize your phone with a really strong ultraviolet light. So that's well, pretty cool for uh, 20 bucks. And uh, we're looking at uh, doing this Revell. Uh, space shuttle uh, We'll look at that in uh, just one second. We also have uh, We also have this uh, monogram uh, Space shuttle. It's the same um, scale These are two different uh, Two different space shuttles though. I'll show you a little bit of the differences We're not going to go into the monogram one too much at this time We'll probably build that later date, but I do have a piece of it sitting out here so let's uh, let me get settled in. Roll this over. My little uh, cart for holding my model boxes, which comes in handy. Got an adjustable leg on it. <clears throat> Here's a look at the uh, box art. This comes with the uh, payload for the inside. Uh, so you got like the, um, you got a telescope and you got the, uh, like a Skylab, uh, you know, uh, satellite or piece of a space station or something. Not really sure exactly what it is, but it does come with that arm that was from Canada with the little astronaut on it. So, it's a... Uh, 170 seconds, skill level two. <clears throat> so there's some of these other pictures on here. Shows you with the uh, the bay doors open. Not sure what version we're gonna do of this yet. Uh, I'll have to research a little bit figure out which one we want to do. There's a couple more views of this. Just a little bit of the features. About nine, a little over 19 inches long, 13 inches wide, about 111 pieces. So, not exactly sure when this kit was built, it was made. That monogram one, I believe, was like 2011. I think this one was a little earlier, maybe in the earlier 2000s. I'm not sure. Here's I bagged up the decals, but um, they're a little bit, a little bit rough down here. I probably wouldn't be able to do the Atlantis because it's a little messed up. Um, I did buy this kit new sealed, but um, the way that the decals are just laying in there. Uh, yeah, it kind of crunched a little bit with these big these big sprues laying on top of it. <clears throat> but um, I left this in the bag because the way that this shuttle is, um, it does have texturing. Uh, it's a uh, raised panel lines. Or, um, so um. That's got all the texture for the um, the tiles on the bottom. 
but um, I didn't want to scratch it all up because you know it'd be hard to kind of smooth it out once you uh, you mess it up. So I'm gonna try to leave that in the bag until I'm, uh, I'm ready to use it. But there's the bottom, and then these are the two top pieces, and then there's like uh, it's like landing gear in there. So here's a quick look at the. Uh, instruction book it's a monstrous kit but um I mean really there isn't a, a huge part count hundred and some parts that's not too bad um, I think the tough parts gonna be uh, painting it with the um, with all the uh, textures from the tiles on it Uh, we're gonna have to keep that that's gonna be a challenge on this kit <clears throat> not um, putting down primer and stuff to bury the uh, texture even these uh, engine covers here have have some some um, some tiles on it in some places and then it's smooth in others and uh, these engines are looking pretty nice Nice detail on there with the tubing and everything on the on them. That's the floor for the uh, cockpit. Uh, there's some engraving on some of these pieces too. There it is right there. It says 1988. That must have been the birth of the kit, 1988. Here's a little upside down astronaut. Well, I guess maybe that's just a worker. All right, let's pick this monster up. Let's lay this over here on the table. Let's look at this piece first. Get a little extra light over here. Okay. You can see the texture on this piece here it actually changes on the edge so it's, it's pretty neat it's detailed pretty nice this one has the uh, the tail sections molded right into the fuselage it has the texturing too there's also some more details down in here <coughs> Now this is the, um, do a comparison here, this is the, uh, this is the monogram, and as you see the monogram is smooth, I, I, this doesn't come with a decal to, to do the bottom, I don't believe, it's been a while since I looked at this few years, but um, this one's like really scratched up, so um, I know that there is someone that makes a, a decal it looks like the tiles for this kit here so you can do the um, decal for the bottom but um it doesn't have a lot of uh it doesn't have the tile raised tile work like the other one did so there are decals for it so that's just a little just a difference and there's no tail section added to this fuselage so you can clearly see that there is a difference between these kits even the way that the uh, the wings mount to the sides, uh, it's totally different. So, so we take a look at that while we had both of them. And, uh, here's a. Uh, this is where the the rockets mount to the shuttle. It's hard to see, but there is like pop rivet um, pieces in there. Some nice details in between the motors, the engines. <clears throat> this bag is, uh, this is all the uh, the payload inside this bag here. And then there's the other piece of the fuselage. There's the doors for the uh, space shuttle. And there's a... Uh, a couple astronaut pieces here. <clears throat> I 
That must be the interior of the shuttle. And then this is the shuttle doors. And then some of the tail. So, I mean, this, <clears throat> considering the size of this box, I mean, it's a monster. But, um, I mean, there really isn't a lot of, a huge amount of parts in this kit. They are large parts, so. Uh, here, I got this uh, postcard from, uh, we took a family vacation to NASA. It's a nighttime photo, a uh, time elapsed photo. It's pretty cool. Um, we also have this uh, <clears throat> Fathead's uh, decal on the wall. Good reference. You can see the tiles are when it the the shuttle isn't brand new when it's used you can see where there's dark spots on like the white and then there's uh I got the white on kind of a little bright right now but you can actually see the differences in the tiles the gray and the, the black where they replaced them and then the uh the edge of the wing on the on that outside edge on the uh, wing there is like a gray like a charcoal gray so, <clears throat> I think because this has a payload, I want to display it with the doors open, with the arm and the astronaut, but it doesn't make sense to have it uh, with the wheels down in that configuration. So, um, I'm, and besides the, um, the bottom so nice, I'm thinking about building it so I can hang it uh, from the ceiling from like on its side so um, so that way we can if you're on one side you can see the the cargo uh, shuttle bay and then if you're on the other side you'll see the bottom of the shuttle with the, the doors closed and all so I think that's how I'm gonna approach this um, being such a big kit <clears throat> Um, it might be nice to kind of get this going so I can paint some of this outdoors. And, uh, so that might be a plus. Um, the, there's going to be a challenge with this, uh, where these two pieces come together. You know, what do you do with the gap is always a question. Um, you know, you can, you can file it down as smooth and as flat as you can and then, Try to um, make sure you uh, maybe put some reinforcement styrene in, in the bottom and try to close the gap up as much as you can. But there's still going to be some gap there, I think, no matter what you do. So um, that's going to be a challenge. And also, you know, on top of the nose where you're going to see um, there's going to be a big gap going down the middle. That's going to be a little visible. What I like about this kit is, um, opposed to the monogram one, is um, the, the top, there's a piece right there with the two windows in it that goes on top of the, um, um, the cockpit. So you can actually um, have it so you can remove that piece and not glue it on. And you'll be able to see down in the cockpit to see the uh, interior. So um, that's, that's a neat feature on this kit. <clears throat> um, we're not going to go into looking at this one right now. Maybe I'll do a, a, a inbox review on that one later. But um, I just wanted to show uh, what we're going to build. And I uh, just want to say uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my uh, subscribers out there. And stay tuned for uh, updates uh, on this build. And. We'll, uh, we'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.